Thank you everyone for attending our webinar. October is Cybersecurity Awareness Month, and today we have Ariana, Customer Care Representative with NetSense, and she's gonna tell you a little bit about her journey with Immunify 360. Ariana, take it away. Hi everyone. Hi, um, my name is Arianna, and today I would like to talk about our experience with Immunify 360. Um, uh, I work for Netsense in the customer care department. And before talking about uh, our experience with, with Immunify 360, uh, I would like to tell you about our company, Netsense, and tell you a bit more um, about us. NetSense is one of the main Italian hosting provider, and we have offered IT solution, dedicated servers, hosting, and cloud services since 2007. And 108,000 customers, um, individuals, and businesses have chosen to rely on our services, mainly in Italy and Europe. NetSense, uh, as a company, has three main priorities. Uh, so we mainly focus on customer satisfaction, high quality services and services security. As far as customer satisfaction uh, is concerned, um, well, I can say that our strength lies in the relationship that we build on a daily basis with people. And our support is made of people first and qualified professionals second. Um, we listen to all the customer needs and requests and we always try to find the best solution for them. Another important priority is the high quality of services offered. And our system team um, constantly performs um, program maintenance and interventions in order to um, improve the performance of our servers. And our system team also um, performs uh, constant updates to ensure the highest um, uptime values of our servers. Um, another important priority is the, the theme of security, uh, which in my opinion is one of the main aspects in the IT world. And I think that any self-respectable hosting provider should put security on their priority list. Um, well, in our system team, is also constantly involved in the updating of our system, network analysis, vulnerability scanning, in order to ensure the highest level of protection and stability. Well, before Immunify 360, we had several problems with different CMS, mainly with WordPress, um, because customers uh, finalized the installation of WordPress but they didn't update it, maybe because they didn't know how to do it, or maybe because they didn't know that WordPress, like any other CMS, requires constant updates. So basically, many sites ended up getting hacked and causing inefficiencies, inefficiencies for the final user. Another problem was the compromission of FTP and email accounts and through brute force attacks. And another one was the server rebooting after kernel patching. That means that after each application of the security patches, we had to reboot the actual server, causing sometimes the interruption of the service. And finally, um, in the past, we used to rely on different open source tools that didn't provide a user interface. So basically, we were looking for a solution that could involve the final user um, with their own interface and that could help us elevate sites getting hacked. With Immunify 360, we found a viable and sustainable solution. Um, and the main reasons that drove us to choose Immunify 360 are essentially three. Um, first of all, we are a Cloud Linux partner. Um, our partnership with Cloud Linux has been forged over the years. Cloud Linux has always been for us a guarantee of quality and reliability. Um, Cloud Linux is not only 
a synonym for quality, but it does also have an excellent support team that is always reliable and accurate in providing us explanations and clarifications. So since we're looking for a security platform and since our long-term partnership with Cloud Linux, we seized the opportunity to try the Cloud Linux product. Uh, in the past, like I said before, we used to rely on different um, open source tools that didn't provide any, um, any user interface. So, um, so, and didn't provide, I mean, um, a full integration with our hosting panel. Um, however, with Immunify, we found a perfect and full integration with cPanel, that is the hosting panel that we use on our hosting services. And, and the last reason is that Immunify 360 is a multi-layer security platform. So that means that it's a tool that offers uh, a wide range of functionalities all included in a single platform. Um, among the main features provided by Immunify 360, um, I would like to show you the ones we appreciate, appreciated the most and the ones we found more um, interesting and useful. Uh, first of all, it's worth mentioning the web application firewall. Uh, the web application firewall provided by Immunify 360 uh, also includes mode security that, in our opinion, is perfectly integrated in, the, in their wealth. And mode security, as you may know, is an open source tool that requires a lot of test activity and uh, rules updating. And since these tasks and operation are all managed by Minify now, we don't have to worry about it anymore. So this was a great relief for us. Then another option that I think is one of the most appreciated among the system team is the kernel care feature that allows us to, um, to apply security patches without actually rebooting the server. And as you may know, rebooting a server is an operation that implies a lot of complications. And uh, thanks to this incredible feature, we are able to run all the updates without affecting our service. Immunify 360 does also have um, an excellent IP management because it manages uh, its own blacklist and whitelist. And another op great option is the malware scanner. Um, that is able is a tool that is able to scan the file systems for malware injection, and it can also automatically clean the infected files. The proactive defense, unlike malware scanner, um, uh, is a real time scanner. That means that when a file is loaded into the system, it is scanned right away. So, and if it's malicious, it's clean. And on the proactive defense tool unlike other malware scanners, um, has a minimal impact on the performance of the server. Um, when we implemented Immunify 360 um, uh, on our system, we have implemented it as a plugin installed in the WHM cPanel interface. And now I would like to show you some of the features of the WHM admin interface. From this interface, you have access to all the features provided by this tool. And specifically in this slide, um, we can see the dashboard. So here you're gonna find um, a general information about service status. And even if it's not visible from here, usually there are uh, below the service status information, there are several charts that show incidents recorded during a selected time of interval um, the last 24 hours, the last seven days, and the last 30 days. Um, moving on to the next one, this is the incidents tab. Uh, where we're going to find a detailed report um, about all the incidents recorded by the firewall. From here, you can also um, move IPs to blacklist or whitelist just by clicking on the gray engine icon. And you can also disable the rules with which they have been detected just by clicking here. This is the firewall tab where you can manage the firewall and you can create and manage your own blacklist and whitelist. 
and you can also delete them, of course. Um, this is the malware scanner section that I was talking to you about before. Um, the malware scanner section has its own subsections. As we can see here, there's a um, user section where um, we can see all the users' names, uh, the file directory, the number of malware found, and the date of the last scan. A great option um, uh, that we can see here is the possibility to start a manual scan. Um, for example, we can start a general scan just by clicking on the scan all button, or you can even start um, a single scan for a specific user. This is the malicious tab where um, you're gonna see a list of all the malware found, the date of the scan, the, the, the file type, the user, the reason, and of course, this, the file status, for example, content removed, quarantined, cleaned, restored, and so on. And from here, you can view the original file, and you can also edit it if you want to restore it. And of course, if you do not consider it malicious. Um, this is the scan section, and uh, this is a very interesting section because from here, you can even um, scan a single folder, so a specific directory, just by tabbing the name in here. And you can also uh, customize the resources that you want to allocate to your scan just by, um, in terms of uh, CPU and IO consumption, just by moving this slider to a higher or a lower value. Then of course, there's a history tab um, where you're gonna find a general overview about um, the, the number of more we found and an ignore list where there are all the files that would will be excluded from the scanning. Well, this is the proactive defense section. Uh, like I said before, the proactive defense tool analyzes the PHP script behavior and it prevents it from causing any harm to the server. So it either blocks the entire script execution or just the malicious flow. Um, the proactive defense can be set in three different modes. Um, you can disable it, you can uh, enable the log only mode, uh, in this way the events will be just logged, or you can, um, you can set the kill mode. This of course uh, will guarantee the highest level of protection because the proactive defense tool will terminate the script as soon as the attack is detected. Um, when we implemented Minify 360 on our systems, um, we decided to offer two versions of it. A standard version uh, that is already included in our hosting services and a pro version um, that, of course, uh, provides more features and we sell at a different price. In this slide, specifically, we can see the cPanel user interface. From here, you can manage events, you can make corrections, you can move files to the um, uh, ignore list so they will be excluded from the scanning or you can even uh, restore files. This is the pro version and as we can see um, the main difference between the two versions lies in the presence of the proactive defense tool. A big difference um, between the admin interface and um, the cPanel user interface is the possibility to start a manual scan. So um, you can do that only from the admin interface. So even in the pro version, you cannot start a manual scan um, for a specific user or for everyone. Okay, well, um, I can say that um, Immunify 360 really met our demands and needs. And since we have implemented this, um, this tool on our system, our workload has significantly decreased for both um, support and system, and system teams. And I think that this happened thanks to, the, to all the features provided by Immunify 360, but especially thanks to the web application firewall that um, is able to prevent a lot of attacks. And this means less support requests and less workload. And thanks to a reduction of the workload, we were able to increase productivity, 
and to cut staff expenses. So in this way, staff could focus um, and could work on other projects. Um, another great income came, came also from the pro version of Immunify 360. Um, then, as I was saying before, we sell at a different price and because the standard version is already included in our hosting services. Well, and apart from the web application firewall, I think that NetSense security levels have also increased thanks to all the features provided by Immunify 360. And Immunify 360 um, is a tool that is, that is always up to date. So this really helps, uh, helps us to um, detect even the most recent attacks, ensuring a constant level of protection and security. I can probably say that if NetSense has um, achieved high standards of quality and security over the years is also thanks to the contribution of Immunify 360. So um, overall, we are really satisfied with this product. And now I would like to show you the, the features that gave us the best impressions about this incredible tool. Um, it, I think that it's worth mentioning again, the kernel care feature. Um, because being able to run all the updates without actually rebooting the, rebooting the server is essential to ensure a stability and work continuity. We also received many positive feedbacks, uh, feedback about um, the Immunify 360 inter interface um, because it does have a clear layout and it's very easy to use. Another option that I would like to talk about is the invisible recaptcha. Uh, in order to explain it, uh, we should see first how the standard um, recaptcha system works. So basically, if a visitor um, violates the Immunify 360 rules, so for example, if a user tries to enter the wrong password multiple times, um, Immunify 360 will automatically block the access from their IP address and the IP will be moved to the gray list and the visitor will be redirected to the um, to the recapture. But the invisible recapture, unlike the standard recapture, can really enhance the visitor experience because it uses some Google technologies that are able to detect whether an access is made from a human or not. So the invisible recapture uh, will redirect the visitor automatically to the destination page and without any annoying and not a remote screen. But of course, if the invisible recapture detects any bot related request, um, um, I mean, it will still trigger the recapture challenge and it will block the access right away and the IP will be removed from the gray list. Um, another option that I think that we, is really useful for our teams is the Immunify 360 agent. There is the command line interface. Um, this feature is really helpful because it allows them to run all the operations without using the graphic interface. And last but not least, I would like to mention the Immunify 360 support team that in my opinion is definitely a strength because I think Whenever, whenever you encounter issues or difficulties, I think that it's very important to have a good team of experts you can rely on and that understands and knows the product well. And I think that it's also important to have a good line of communication. Um, the Unify 360 support team comprises friendly and qualified people whose um, solutions to our doubts or questions are always very thorough and comprehensive. And besides, um, I should also mention that uh, Immunify 360 provide very exhaustive documentation. So in case you don't want to open um, a support request, you can always read the documentation and I'm sure you will find a solution you are looking for. So, um, Overall, we are really happy about this, this product and 
I will definitely recommend this tool to other hosting provider and other hosting providers. And I hope that our uh, partnership will continue to grow in the future. So um, that's all. Thank you very much for your attention, guys. Thank you very much, Ariana. I have a few questions uh, from folks already. Uh, the first one is, what type of infections did you see before Immunify 360? Um, well, um, the most uh, common types of infection were basically modification of files. Uh, as you may know, any, any file can be, any kind of file can be modified in HTML, PHP, JavaScript, and, and so on. And most of the time, um, files were modified in order to send some spam or uh, bulk, bulk emails or to make red, redirects to other websites or unauthorized pages. That's wonderful. I have a question from Jodell. We noticed uh, our client cPanel. However, I don't know that there's an option for scanning and cleaning inside of their cPanel. I can take that one. Uh, Jodell, it, it's a little difficult to set up, but there is actually a tool inside of the feature manager to allow your cPanel customers to be able to, to log into the interface and you can give them options of, of cleaning or running a scan or just seeing the output from a scan. So if you have any questions about that, you're free to email me, uh, Eric L uh, E. Ellis at cloudlinux.com and I can help you out with that. I'll, uh, I'll reach out to you after the call as well. Uh, the next question we have is, could you tell me about the development process, uh, your development process with Immunify 360? Um, well, since we have uh, thousands of servers, um, well, the deployment, the configurations and the updates of any software are managed by um, an automation software that is called Ansible. So basically, even in the case of Immunify 360, um, we, we used Ansible to deploy it, so. <laughs> no, that makes perfect sense. Ansible, is, uh, once you get it right, it, make, it makes it easy for you. Uh, configuration management, how did it take us this long to get to that? Uh, another, another question from an anonymous attendee, uh, WAF rules from Unify 360 is okay to stand alone and stop attacks without any other custom WAF rules that may uh, that we may have in the past. If we use uh, Munify 360's rules, we must disable all custom rules that we set up in past attempts, or are we able to rely on a Munify 360's rules? Uh, really and truly, our rules should be enough to, to block most types of attackers. Uh, there's really only a brief window where you would need custom uh, rules, like you had reported a type of attack to us and you needed a Band-Aid before we deployed it. It's really a brief time period. And I mean, with these <clears throat> mod security rules, you, you can write really bad rules that can just really degrade your performance. So I, I don't recommend it unless you're you know, just very comfortable with regular expressions and mod security. Um, but, but if there's nothing, we, we do have a collision on a rule, please open a support request and we can help you with that. And our next question, uh, what feedback have you gotten from your customers about the security products, about your security products? Well, um, customers are really happy about our security products. And like I said before, they uh, also gave feedback about the clear layout and user friendliness of the Munify 360 interface. And I think that what customers found most helpful uh, about this tool is to um, detect malware and at the same, the ability to detect malware and at the same time to clean them up. And I think that the great thing about Immunify 360 is that any difficult operation um, concerning your website security is made easier and within everyone's reach. Awesome. I have another question. Does Immunify 360 firewall uh, need of, of CSF? Uh, we don't need CSF, but, but we can play nice with it. If, if it's already on the server, we'll detect it and, and play along really well. It's a very popular free plugin, and it, it definitely offers some features that are, are good for a lot of systems. So we play nice with it, but we definitely don't require it. If you don't have CSF installed, uh, you're presented with a really nice firewall interface to manage your firewall. Um, are there any more questions? 
All right. Well, that's six. That's pretty good for everyone. Uh, thank you all for attending. I appreciate your time and attention. I really want to thank Ariana for all her hard work on this presentation. And, and thank uh, you very much, Eric. And thank you again for this incredible opportunity. Um, you've been really <laughs> good to me. Well, I'm happy to help. Um, <laughs> thanks, everyone, for attending. I'm going to go ahead and stop the presentation now, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> see you guys. Thank you very much.